We're now getting a look at the latest reports from both candidates and the numbers show when it comes to cash donations, Ben Stuckert still holds a narrow lead, but Nadine Woodward picking up speed and actually has an overall edge on finances thanks to other sources of support. The primary election was on August 6th, when Woodward took home 40% of the vote, followed by Stuckert with 38. At the time, both candidates had over $150,000. Stuckert was leading with 175 grand to Woodward's 165. But Woodward had more than $100,000 in additional help through independent expenditures, an unlimited form of support where groups can buy ads for candidates with or without their approval. Since August, Woodward has gained on Stuckert in cash donations. She's received more than 100 individual donations, adding up to just over $50,000. Stuckert has three times as many separate donations, but they're mostly smaller compared to Woodward's. So they add up to about 44000 Meanwhile, since the primary, Woodward has also gotten another $43,000 in independent expenditures. All of that from the Washington Realtors PAC, by far Woodward's biggest supporter and the biggest overall spender in Spokane politics this year. Stuckert has had just $850 in that form of support from the Washington Alliance for Gun Responsibility. Now, in terms of who is donating, the trends from before the primary are keeping up through the general. Lots of labor groups donating to Stuckert, lots of businesses donating to Woodward. So both candidates certainly upping the pace when it comes to fundraising. In a little over a month, they've each raised at least a quarter of what they brought in all year before the primary. And with just under seven weeks to go until that general election, don't expect the money to stop flowing anytime soon. In the studio, Casey Decker, Crumb 2